Uh, we'll start off with David, if you are ready. Yeah, thank you. Uh, so we were working on the client, the VV2 client, obviously, in the previous two weeks. And uh, we fixed a couple of things. Uh, we are trying to finalize all the existing features in the software. And uh, we have a feature freeze, both on the UI and uh, the code as well. Um, so beside the client side, uh, for example, the, the changeless coin selector has a slight problem in it that uh, the guys are working on. So beside the client, we're trying to optimize the backend as well. Uh, for example, the performance and the, 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 the response time of the backend. And uh, these are taking times because uh, all of these final uh, small touches on the software without refactoring everything uh, always takes more time than, than before. So now we are in that phase and uh, we are aiming for the final version of, of 2.0. And uh, just one more thing that according to the current plans, we are coming with the main net release that will be the next, the next step. So there, there won't be a, uh, another main net test, main net testing period or something like this. Uh, to have the release quickly, uh, the, these two phases now is merged together. Do you want to, Norbo, go ahead and uh, explain the stuff going on with the marketing side? So we have started working on this uh, Vastali Box uh, project. We had a few meetings and uh, figured out what, what we should put inside the box. The other topic is the, the new blog is almost ready. I'm working on it and just need some bug fixes. So, and some videos and articles are also ready and we are doing everything, I think. That's all in that cell. Yeah, just to highlight, uh, if you want to help out with reviewing the blog posts, please do. And if you feel like coming onto a podcast to record, then please let me know likewise and we arrange something. Okay, so so regarding the Wasabi 2.0 marketing plans, can you explain how the release is going to go, let's say, from the last week before the release to the first week after the release. How do you imagine that? Like, what's the big marketing plan there? What's the schedule? Prepare everything in advance, um, or at least as much as reasonable. Um, I'll have all the contacts and texts ready for the announcement, emails to all the news outlets and whatnot. Then. Uh, prepare for for the live release event uh for this you gotta invite guests mainly and maybe you want to have at least some time slot management to make it reasonable but maybe a free for all would be fun too who knows yeah then we make the we start the live show maybe two hours before the release uh we talk about wasabi get everyone excited uh, and then david pushes the button live on stage and people go download uh, and check it out, and we continue having conversations, uh, bringing new guests in, on on board to talk about Wasabi, and eventually the first coin join happens, I don't know, an hour after, or two hours after we release the software, who knows, uh, and then we look at it on air, and that's kind of the the end of the live ceremony, I guess, so I don't know, probably five hours or something like this of continuous yeah, live stream. And in the meantime, we send out the armada of, of emails to all the outlets uh, with, with the articles and announcements. Um, the blog posts go out uh, announcing the 2.0 mainnet release. And maybe one additional blog post goes a couple minutes later. I don't know. And yeah, I would like to have also at least one big Bitcoin podcast release an episode uh, when we uh, act like on the day that we release. That would be pretty cool. Yeah, I guess that's the timeline. All right, thank you. Oh yeah, uh, I forgot the the swag boxes. 
I guess we'll see how fast we can get everything printed and shipped and delivered. Uh, but it would be cool if we can send out the physical packages, uh, I guess, at least three days before the actual release, maybe five days before or something like that, just so that there's enough time for the packages to arrive at, at most people. So, yeah, I guess that's something that we will check back on in two weeks uh, on the 15th, how the, the, the swag box is going and if we will ship it out together with the release or a bit later. Um, I guess uh, uh, one general question uh, do, do you think we should start with more blog posts already the week before the release, or should like you know, should there be kind of a, a period of excitement before the release, or should the big blog posts come only with the release itself? I think the blog posts, um, like having them go out, is great, but it's it's not as interactive as some of the other things. So. You know, if there's videos or some other content that's not just reading, I think that's even better. So it's going to be a concerted effort between the blog posts, the YouTube videos, um, and then on top of that, the articles and stuff that other people are publishing. How much emphasis should be put on the blog post, I don't think is as important. And the timing of that, um, it should just be 2.0 is out. The blog post comes out as soon as we push the button, you know, here it is. And then it's really the Twitter's job and like YouTube and all these other outlets job to spread the news. Uh, for the actual release, we're going to have that live announcement party. It might be cool to have a, a physical date space party in the office uh, on that day. Uh, and we might invite people who want to join. Um, I don't know, but it was pretty cool atmosphere last time during the first release candidate. Uh, so we could replicate that and just have a you know, a microphone in there so that people can come join the live stream. Yeah, I mean, yeah, if you if the office people think that there's going to be a bunch of people in Budapest at that time. And it's a, it's a final uh, closing something, right? Closing the development with the Meet Space event. What's up with the UI? Exactly what I was about to ask. Hello, guys. Hello. Okay, so um, Dan and Roland are not around, so I'm going to sub for them to the, for today. Um, uh, last week in UI team, we have, well, basically, there's only minor fixes that are going on. Um, but um, we are planning to fix um, uh, a couple of things like um, showing times in the music box control. And I am also working on fixing the high GPU usage on Idle, which I think I have, I may have solved uh, unless um, Ad Adam proves otherwise. <laughs> and um, and also add, adding some tweaks to the history um, data grid, and also to finalize any open uh, uh, open PRs as well. So all in all, our things are going smoothly. Okay, thank you. Are there any other questions for the UI team? Yeah, I think basically everything important is figured out. So it's pretty good on the UI front. Everything from now on is just candy and sugar on top. Uh, David, I think last week you asked about getting some like newbie input on using the wallet. Was there anybody that was able to volunteer and do that with you? I'm not sure what was about newbie input using the wallet. First time user experience, I'm guessing is what Daniel asked. Exactly. I actually remember that conversation and the resolution was that Roland's girlfriend is going to be the one. So maybe you want to ask Roland about that. Good. I wanted to make sure it was uh, taken care of, but that's my main point or main, main goal is if it was resolved. I mean, for, like I've been doing this for a while uh, already with a couple of people, not many, just a handful. Um, and that influenced a lot of my feedback. Very good. Anything else? We can go into the general topics and conversations. Max, you're coming to the lightning round discussion. Yes. I wanted to ask about something not related to 2.0, but just uh, since everybody is here, I know that there was the work swap that we were doing a few weeks ago, and it's been kind of dead in the water the last couple of weeks with everything. Uh, I think this is just one of those conversations that uh, 
Um, I know that everybody's busy. It's kind of fizzled out as far as interest. So um, the question is, should it continue or should we ax it or should this conversation be brought up uh, in another meeting elsewhere? So my hope was that the new people are going to come there and and they can get they can learn about a lot of things, right? But it seems like the new people are not really coming there. It's the same same old. So I, I did not meet anyone on on the on the conversations, right? I did not meet anyone who I didn't already know and talk a lot with. In that case, then I think that we can uh, brainstorm or talk about some other ways to get this happening. Whether it's you know just getting them to join in on the 2.0 calls or doing something else, but uh, you know somehow finding a way for it to be uh, participated in. So um, we can talk about this in another meeting or another uh, conversations privately. I just unless people have ideas that, that they wanted to suggest. I think also that preparing 2.0 is not so helpful regarding that work swap concept because in the last two weeks I just don't felt I have time to didn't feel to have time to go there. So maybe that's it's timing, it's a timing problem as well. But but the prior the prior thing is that what Ada mentioned that I was enjoyed doing it. So I think the concept itself is not bad. It's just that we did not reach the peak uh, attention of the people. I think then it can be a combination of the two. We can probably revisit this uh, after 2.0 is released, so that way everybody can focus on getting this done. I think everybody's got enough to do. And then uh, you know maybe another, let's say, two weeks or three weeks after release, so that way we can get all the bugs worked out and, and make sure that it's not nothing's going crazy. So whatever that would be, June we can uh, talk about getting this going in some other way or format. Okay. That's not everything then. I will see all of you guys later. Next week we'll have our meeting as usual and uh, we'll look forward to seeing everyone then. Good luck. See you. Bye-bye. Yeah. See you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.